Welcome back to this episode of The Evil Within. Uh, yesterday, when we were playing, I got my fucking head chopped off, and um, I failed miserably at escaping from uh, Chainsaw Man. So today, we're going to try to do that again. Who knows how long this video is going to be. Uh, just sit back and enjoy. Yeah, get ready, because I'm coming at you. Okay, now I gotta remember my my legs all fucked up from falling down Satan's trash chute. This fucking guy, I'm, I don't I don't even trust walking out that way still yet. Nope, get back in there. Get back in here. We're going right back into the locker safety zone. I have no idea where he is, and it's super unnerving. Also, I'm not 100% sure that I really dig the fact that the getting into the locker button is the same button as crouching. I feel like it should be an action button, not the crouch button, right? So I'm guessing I'm just supposed to try to oh, oh, get by this guy. Now remember, we're playing on normal. I'm not going into this shit on easy. Like some sort of pusilaya. You can't let him see me. Yeah, no fucking shit. <laughs> it's like Leatherface and Jason had a love child and uh, abused him his entire life. Go in. Where's he going? Please continue walking the hallways. Don't come jibber jabbing back into this room. Because that's really going to put a damper. Get through. I love when my head goes right through the fucking. right through the wall. Oh shit! Oh! Oh, I didn't even know he went out the other door. Oh, that was real. Oh, I felt my body tense up on that one. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Stay far away from enemies that can't grab you. Pfft. Really? Actually, if you could just get closer and closer to the enemies so that they can grab you, that's a perfect strategy. Enemies will hear your sounds, and they will search you out if you are loud. Okay, attempt number three. The pissy doctor operating room. <clears throat> like the TB ward. Now to see, when's he gonna turn around? I'm gonna go, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Now this is the same guy from when I was hanging upside down, right? Yeah, he's followed me. This isn't a different one. This is just some fucking can't let him see me. serial killer. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him walk back in this way, right? Yeah, and then he's gonna come out the other door. He's gonna walk all the way down and come out that door again if it's predictable. Um, so I'm just gonna let him do that and I'm gonna mosey on in here. <gasps> oh, mama. What is that? Oh, what am I playing, The Last of Us? Where is he? Where is he? I don't like that I can't see you. Oh, you're coming back in. That's okay. Just stay away from over here. That would be fit, don't you? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm too close to him now. I'm too close. I'm pissing. I'm pissing in my pants. 
Oh, sweet. I can kind of see underneath these boxes because they're not quite touching the other boxes. Time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Uh, what? Oh, oh no. Can't take the shit. I can't take it. He's just running around, wa fucking waving his chainsaw all over the place, and I'm so fu I'm too nervous to. Can I throw this? Go out there. Go out that way. You heard a bottle break, right? Go get it. Ha 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 ha! Run, run. Oh god. Ah. Uh. Okay, we've made it. We've made it to the orange light hallway. Get me the f flippin' hell. Is there anything in here? No, okay. Dude can't follow me, right? So, safe zone, maybe? <laughs> Oh, nope, he's coming. Shit's happening. Shit. Tripping over chairs. Okay. Oh, he's getting close. Why'd you climb over it? I wouldn't climb over it. I would just move it. It's on wheels. It was probably easier and would have taken less time just to push the thing out of the way. Even with a gimp leg. Now, see, these, any elevator sequence in a horror game like this, I'm instantly just like, okay, Silent Hill. Come on, Sebastian. You made it, man. <laughs> just barely. By the hair on the crack of your butt. What? By the hair on the crack of your butt. Oh, fuck. Darkness twisting me that was like the intro. Nice. There is nothing I can do. A Tango Gameworks production. Itaro Yakayama. Freak me out. It's just weird. It could be empty and I would still be freaked out. Yes, Shinji Mikami himself. Let's get to killing some stuff. That whole beginning part was scary, but I want a gun. Let's get to the uh let's get to the real meat and bones, you know? Oh. Oh, okay. Nothing about this hallway makes me feel like... Oh. What was that? Haha. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, shit. It's falling down. Time to go. Oh, so that whole thing was happening within the hospital. I had no idea. I didn't know that I was in, like, the basement of the same building that I just walked into in the first episode.
<laughs> get in. But I'm, I'm gonna run away from you and make it nearly impossible and almost kill you. Oh, there's our hooded, the, the hooded gentleman. Jesus. Hey, drive a little Joseph. slower. Man, I'm sorry, but you never came out. I waited, but uh, please settle down. Yeah, it's because there's in the basement. Strung up like a fucking pig sent to slaughter. Shit. Yeah. What in the holy mother of shit is happening? Like that? The whole city is just crumbling. Something way more sinister than I expected is going on here. Yeah. Okay. So now the city. Oh. Uh, Shit. What? <laughs> it's sh uh, shifting. All right. Didn't didn't expect that. Didn't see that coming. Weird, man. Holy shit. Now that didn't happen in Raccoon City. Damn it. Ooh, man, those texture pop-ins and cutscenes. It doesn't everyone happen in gameplay almost ever. But in the cutscenes, it's terrible. Just a few bumps, we're fine. I think it's the uh, fine. 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 quick we'll shift from scene away. to scene. Fine. A little further, and we'll be fine. Fine, 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 fine. Fall, fall. Yeah, no Fall. shit. Fall. Fall. I thought she was just talking about the beautiful season we're all experiencing right now. Credits roll. Game's over. You beat it. That's the evil within. It's done. Oh, that's chapter one. Okay. Alright, um, let's save it up. New slot. Saving. Difficulty survival. I will play on hard. I will. Okay, back. Next chapter! Sometimes running away is the best strategy. Do you know, in, uh, back in the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 era, survival horror games, we didn't need loading screens to tell us. We didn't have that. You had to choose to run yourself based on your gut instinct. <clears throat> I'm down here with, uh... God, what's his name? The Green Goblin. See this, Jacob's Ladder, immediately is what I think of. Jacob's Ladder is like one of the first movies I ever saw that had a sequence where you were being rolled down a hallway on a gurney. And then Jacob's Ladder directly inspired Silent Hill, which is clearly an inspiration in parts of this game. So 
you got a thing on your neck. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Stop touching me. You're touching me. You're getting all up in my face and you're touching me. Oh. Oh, great. <laughs> You've woken up in a black and white cell. You have no health. Bodies found. Bodies found in Lakeside Town. Cause of death remains a mystery. More than a dozen mutilated bodies found in a village of Elk River. Several residents unaccounted for. That reminds me of Resident Evil 1. That news article in the beginning of the description. Victims Hello? were reportedly Anybody there? eaten. Or apparently. It's apparently? Victims were apparently eaten. Yeah. That article. So, can I... Can I use this? Did I already? That's how I punch. You guys got an infestation. Are we awake? Is everyone else alright? The city? Yeah. Whatever are you talking about? You are the only soul here. Right now. Fuck. <clears throat> Does somebody want to explain to me where in the holy hell I am? Hello? <laughs> Anybody there? I did my best to not watch a bunch of videos about this game, not research too deeply into it, because I've made that mistake before with other games that I was excited for and totally spoiled the experience for myself by the time the game came out, so I did my what best to keep my here? distance. So right now, I'm not 100% sure what the fuck is going on. A hospital. This place is necessary for you. You're always welcome here. I've been hospitalized. I'm afraid I cannot answer that. Who can? Please, sign in here. Without signing in, there's no way to ensure your future memories. Oh, Jesus. You know, okay, I got a bone to pick with you, Shinji Mikami. I know that you give the option that it's not necessary, but why the fuck? Okay, you did this in Resident Evil 4, and now you're doing it in this, which is presumably your spirit spiritual successor to that game. Why in the holy hell do you give the player the option mid-chapter to save and then two seconds into the next chapter save again? It was a huge annoyance. I know, like I said, I know it's an option. Smells but it's like, like you're fucking bombarding my face with save options. It's not how I like it. I don't know. Something, something about that bothers me. Just let me save after the chapter ends. Wasting my fucking time. All right. Please relax. Oh, okay. Please have a seat. This chair looks pretty comfortable. I'll, I'll sit down. Oh, God, I need a beer. What oh. The hell? oh, yeah, okay. This is the upgrade you station. Fight it. This Green is gel can be room. used to upgrade individual no. skill parameters. Stop. Okay, so unlock. Points in the there now, you see? All better. Lady, am I going crazy? Huh? Okay, now see. Now people were bitching about. What the fuck? Fuck. I'll be waiting. All right. Um, oh cool, alright, so it's, it's like a dream. So people were bitching about, um, the fact that there was an upgrade system in this. It didn't make it a true survival horror game. But the way that the upgrade system is presented to the player, Shit. you know. What the hell is going on? That seems pretty interesting. You know, you get this Doc Brown style helmet popped on your Gidman. fucking cranium. Where are you? And then you get your skull cap injected with uh, with green goo, which gives you your upgrade, and it looks 
painful. So it's, it's an effective visual. The origin of the medication in this travel syringe is unknown, but it provides moderate health restoration. So this is the green herb equivalent, right? This is my, my green herbs. Got my herb. Way. Access in the inventory. Press, press R. Okay. And now, and now we can use it. Excellent. Sweet. Some more goopy. Some more green goop. Now we're getting into it. Now we're here. We're playing now. We're, we're doing it. We're in the fucking woods now. Is there anything back there? I kind of just wandered away from that whole crash site without even really investigating the truck. No. No. But the fact that there's a nice bloody trail out here and the bodies of the drivers are missing, that's really setting the tone for me. feel super safe now.